Thank you for spending the time to watch this Docuer 6.8 presentation. This will be as short but as informative as possible to show you how you can use Docuer in your organization. We're going to start by not opening Docuer. I'm going to open up a simple PDF file that's already open in my system. I'm going to come up here and say File and Print because I'm going to capture the information in Docuer. I am using the Docuer printer, which is a virtual printer that will print it into Docuer without me having to print something and then scan it. So I'm going to come up and say print to that. It's going to go through and go through the printing process. And when I come up here and open my Docuer, you'll notice it's already there. So we've successfully put it into the document. Now you, this is the Docuer viewer. This is the document tray side. I can have one tray or two trays showing at one time, and I can say I want to have this tray showing this and that tray showing that, which we're going to be using some of this tray later, but not in this form formulation. So we have the document tray up. If I double click on the document, it will appear in the viewer. Now, on the viewer side, I can go full page page width. I can zoom into an area. I can go back to page width. I can rotate it left and right. If I rotate it, I can save it. I also have the ability to do what's called automatic image correction. This will rotate it back up to man readable, deskew the document, and do what it can to improve the view of the document, which makes it so that we can clean up some documents that are fairly messy. Now, I'm going to store this document into a document file cabinet called DocForms. For this, I'm going to come up. It already has the file name because that is the name of the file. We're going to come up to Document Type, Title, and just click and left drag over the top. Notice it copied it. Form name is exactly the same thing, so we do it a second time. Document Type, we come down here to the bottom under the viewer. It's a PDF it has my document date and I say store. It will store this into that file cabinet. So we've done a store, let's do a search. We come up, click on search, we go to doc form, print the back out of that, and we're going to clean this out so you see the whole process. And so I'm going to look to see what I stored today. So I just hit an X to put in today's date and say search. Look them up, give me my form. Again, it's there. If I wanted to, I could now apply stamps at this point, or I can add annotation. So let's say there's something on here I don't want people to see. So I've added so I can do a, draw a solid rectangle. It's going to give me the color. I'm going to make it black for right now. And I'm going to come up and just say, you can't see this. Well, at that point in time, the IT department is going to come yelling at me because I'm burning up too much black ink. So I'm going to come back here and click on Solid Rectangle again. And this time I'm going to select White and draw a bigger box so I can redact the document without any major functions. And I can just come up here and say Save, and it will save that exactly that way. If I can close this and go back into that document, you will know that it is redacted. Because I have the right to turn the layer off, I can turn it off so I can still see what's there. Now, as an administrator, I have one more right. I have the ability to delete. And this is granted to users to delete or not delete documents based on their rights and rules. So we're going to close this particular one down and go back to our document tray. So let's look at a somewhat real world scenario of what people would be doing. So we're going to actually go through a accounting process with the system. To start with, I'm going to come up and use my DocuWare, Microsoft Word, and use DocuWare Printer again, which you've already seen. I'm going to come up here and say Print. I'm going to the DocuWare Printer. I have a number of purchase orders. In fact, to number there's five. And I'm going to say Print. And it's going to go through and print the documents. Now, what's happening at this point, or I'm going to come down and turn on my browser, it has actually printed those documents into DocuWare. It is 
breaking them apart into five separate documents and storing them into DocuWare. You'll see they're going across. So in less than a minute, I will have printed, broken apart, indexed, and stored them into DocuWare. So if I come back here and reduce this to an icon, I come back and go to my searches, and this time I'm going to search for the uh, accounting dialog, go to check, and I have in today's date and do search. It's going to show me the documents that I have. So I'm going to come down and click on any one of these documents, and you can see the document has been put in. Now, I intentionally have this so that the Mic and Technology one has a problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and say edit, enter, edit index entries. We're missing a vendor number, so all I have to do is come over here, drag across the vendor number, drop in, and say save. <clears throat> so I have now edited an index. I don't have the customer name because we're sending the PO out. It, there's no reason for me to know that I'm the customer because we are the customer. So we put that information in. These POs can be sent out, they can be printed, they can be manipulated multiple different ways, which we will talk about as we go. I'm going to come back here to document trees, go back to my browser. I have a job here. So when the parts come in, you get a packing list that is generated and sent into the system. So the guys in the back scan the packing list with their local copier, scanner, other sort of device, and it goes to a network location. We're going to start this job, which will go through and pull up the documents from that location. Normally this would be running all the time, but for the presentation I need to stop it so that it doesn't function before where I want it to go. So it's in the process of pulling the documents in for me. So when it's done, you'll see the documents have pulled through, and you'll see them disappear off the bottom of the page. So they're in the process of importing, indexing fully into the system. <clears throat> so if we go back up here and do search, we're going to repeat the same search we just did, but I'm going to add something here. I want to say I'm looking for a PA I'm just going to do the same search. And you'll notice I now have my packing list. <clears throat> Again, they've come in. So we have the vendor name. We can look it up. We can also look it up by the purchase order number, which is right there. And we can maneuver back and forth. So I can look it up the packing list number and the PO number. So I can go through and find any of those documents and link them together. We can back up to our document trays. This time I'm going to go to scan because we actually then generate, in this particular organization, we generate a um, receiver ticket where they go out and verify what's on the packing list to make sure they do indeed match. So we have a printed receiver ticket, they go out and check it. So we're going to go up here and say scan which is going to launch the scanner profile down here, and I'm going to be scanning with a predefined job packing list, a, reviewer, a receiver tickets. Say scan. And if you hear it in the background, you can hear the scanners going, and of course it decided to throw me there. So, you take it back out, you put it back in, say OK, and hit the scan again. I picked up more than one page, that was the problem. Now, these are going in, but I have them turned every which direction, upside down, right side up. You'll notice that DocuWare saw that, turned them so they were all man-readable, and dropped them into the system. They're down at the bottom, they're going to be imported in, they're going to be broken apart, indexed, and stored. So, when that happens, you will have those receiver tickets in again from the time they hit the system until they're actually in is less than about a minute and a half. So we're going to reduce this down 
and we come up and do search, we're going to back up, redo our search, and you'll see that we have all of our documents in there yet again. So now we have, if you look, we have receiver tickets, packing lists, and purse stores. They have a document status here of new. So I'm going to come over here to a purchase order. And I want to approve this purchase order. So all I do is click on that. We're going to come up here and say it is approved. And by admin. And say set. I now put the stamp on. What you're going to see here is that this one is going to disappear. I'm going to come over here to my list now, which are task lists. I have a task list that says new. These are the ones the status field is new. Here's one that says approved. This is the one I just stamped with my approval on. So this would be approved to go ahead and order, for example. I can do the same thing with any other document that I can set to what I want it to be. So I can use my task list to effectively track where documents are in the process. <clears throat> now, we're going to come up, we're now getting invoices in from our vendor. Our invoices do not necessarily match any profile that we have. So what's going to happen here is that we're going to come up, we're going to scan the documents, and we're going to drop them into using the job called invoice scan into a basket. They're going to have been rotated so they are man readable and ready to go. But we're going to deviate from the automated process at that point. So it's being done, the documents are going in, they're going to be stored into a document tray, which you see right there. Reduce that to an icon while they're coming in. Now, I'm going to take randomly a couple of these documents, and I never take the same three, if at all possible. And I'm going to move them to a, doc, a tr document tray called Intelligent Indexing. We'll go back over that in just a minute. So, I'm going to manually store one of these documents. So I just arbitrarily clicked on one, came down, and said I'm going to Accounting Demo. Customer name is our name. Vendor name is Mark's Parts House. Vendor number we don't have. Document type is an invoice. Document status is new by default. The PO number is right there, one click. Invoice number is right there, one click. I don't have that packing list, bill of lading, or any of those documents. I do have my document date by clicking on the bar not at the bottom when I get in the right spot. I missed it. And next user is going to be admin and say store. So this is fully indexed. Now, that's a little bit laborious, but we're not horrible. I'm going to go to Intelligent Indexing. Intelligent Indexing says, okay, I'm going to look at this document based on this file cabinet, and I think I know what I'm doing. See the little green bar? Originally this is red. It'll either be red for it's not done, yellow, I have some questions, or green, I know what I'm doing. So I click on one of these things and say store, select my file cabinet, you'll notice that it's indexed of what's available on the invoice. I can say store to that. Now, I have the ability when I've done that to select multiple of these and say store and we'll store them one at a time without me having to do any of that work. Here's the first one, there's the second one, and I'm good to go. I'm going to come back up here. Now, Docuer has the ability to talk to other applications through a function called Smart Connect. So I have one up, I need to look at this document. 
and figure out who it's for. Come on. There we go. So this is Pete's Parts House. I have to have Pete's Parts House up. So I'm going to go back here. I'm going to store that document. And I'm going to go back and read from my database program indexes. So went out and read from the database selected zones and copied it into my index and say store. So I'm not double entering anything, am I? And say store. It's stored into the system. So if I come back up here and look uh, under my invoices, the ones I manually indexed say invoice, the ones that I automated in say invoice in. But they still will work, come up and work. So great, we've got the information in. Uh, we have an invoice here. We're going to go through and say, okay, first thing I'm going to do is approve it. I'm going to request that uh, it be done, and the action is going to be by me. I then am going to say, yes, I've approved it. I'm going to go back and approve this document. And again, action by me. <clears throat> I'm now going to mark it as paid. And it's a check number 89723. And I don't have a, a, a credit card receipt number. Yes, put it right there. And because it's completed, I'm going to come up here and say it's closed, which means I've got my check back and everything verified. So the document is completely finished, and if I go back up and look, they will have come and gone out of my lists up at the top. So I've gone through the processes. I have I can have a reject, I can have an approve, which is that one we approved earlier. Under new, we still have 18 left. So we know exactly where we are in the processes of keeping track. So we're actually in the closed document right now. File, exit, log out. And we're going to close it completely. Now, I want to come up here and look at one of these other documents and come up here and say find document. So this is Smart Connect, but this is looking for Smart Search. So what's going to happen is, it's going to go out and perform the search for me and bring any document up that meets that matches that PO number. So I have my invoice, my receiver ticket, my packing list, and my purchase order all there. So when the accounting people go to pay the invoice, they have access to all the information for the invoice right there at their fingertips. Now, one other thing I want to show you is, is that I'm going to log into DocuWare. And notice it's local DocuWare to log in because I go to two DocuWares. And notice it comes up and challenges me for a username and password. Now, the reason why that's done is I can use a Windows login, but it's less secure. There's something else I want to show you. I get asked a lot when we're doing these presentations, do I have to print everything in? Remember our original document over here? I'm going to drag it and drop it into my import tray. Notice it brought it in for me. So I can use drag and drop. I also have the ability to use a manual import. So if I have a document someplace that I want to manually put in, I can go up here and do a manual import by going out and selecting where the document is located on my system. Hopefully I've covered most of the features you'd have interested in for DocuWare for a basic start user. We have a lot more modules you can plug in including Connect to Outlook, Collect and Connect to Mail, we have a hard workflow rules based um, uh, work workflow system. Uh, we actually have the stamps as you've seen which are very effective and quite a few other things including the DocuWare 
mobile app allows me to access documents from the outside world. And because this is now fully web-based, from my tablet or smartphone, if I have internet connectivity, I can look up documents from there. If you have any questions, please make sure you ask your sales representative to cover any issues that may have come up. Thank you very much, and please, again, thank you for your time for watching this demo.